Hello YouTube, this is Drawing Kid 1313 and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play. Um, first off, let me go ahead and change all my settings. When I'm, uh, when I'm not recording, I usually have all the, uh, settings, like, put up to the maximum, uh, just because I can. Um, but anyway, another thing that I figured I would do is, uh, disable this mini-map over here. Uh, that should help with a little bit. Um, so real quick, just a few things, um, that I've done since last episode. Um, first off, I've made quite a few more, uh, solar panels, um, because I was still having to replace my, uh, furnace with coal, and, uh, just really obnoxious. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's still running, but, uh, those solar panels up there, they should take care of quite a bit. Um, another thing that I've done is I've went mining quite a bit, got a lot of resources, and, um, I got some iron, I believe, or no, not some iron, that wasn't what I was trying to say, um, but I got some, uh, <laughs> uh, diamonds, that's what I'm thinking, diamonds right here. Um, so, what I think I'm going to make um, is a, uh, equivalent exchange item. Um, so let's go ahead and open up NEI here. Let's just scroll through these things. I think I want to make an energy condenser. Um, so let's look at that. So we have diamonds, obsidian, and an alchemical chest. So let's make that alchemical chest. Um, let's go down here. Or actually, no. I need to go up here. Duh. Um, let's go into this, and let's just grab one of each of these, and, uh, let's actually look at what else we need for an alchemical chest. We need two stone, a diamond, a chest, and two iron ingots. I have a diamond. I have that to make a chest. I just need some stone. I'll just grab half a stack of that. And, what was it, two iron ingots? Eh. That, that's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, well, fine, I'll take three. Um, anyway, let's go over here. I'm going to throw this stuff in my furnace. I only need, need two pieces here, so uh, that should be good. One, and almost two, and two. Alright, so we'll, let, we'll just let that take care of itself. Um, so if I remember correctly, we need a chest first. And then we put the chest right there, diamond right there, stone like that, that, and then look like at that, and we got ourselves an alchemical chest. Now the next thing we're going to need is obsidian, and uh, I don't think I have any, so I'm going to have to go and mine some real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back here. I uh, just got myself four pieces of obsidian, because that's all I need. Uh, so I'm going to place these in the corner, then I'll put the uh, chemical chest right there, and we got ourselves an energy condenser. Let's go put this right next to our energy collector over here. Alright, so we open it up, and we have this thing. We can place a target block, and it will use the energy uh, from this collector. As you can see, I put some. I actually put some redstone in here a while ago, and it's all already up to etern eternalist fuel. Um, but you could put a target block right here. Let's say we wanted some. Uh, I, don't know, I could use some coal. Um, so let's take this out. And as you can see, it's using the energy from this collector, and it's using it to make the coal in here. It's going pretty pretty slow because this is only a Mark One collector. Um, so I don't really need coal. Uh, another thing that you would notice is that it saves, uh, however much energy it's built up. Uh, so you're not, you're never going to waste anything. So I'm just going to put a diamond in there. I'm going to put this eternalist fuel that I've, uh, collected, or made. And I'm going to put it in there, as well as the, uh, Mobius fuel. And it's just going to work on that and create diamonds without me even having to do anything. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um... So that's it for that. Let's get started on the next thing.
Alright, so I'm back here, and um, right before last episode ended, I uh, said I was going to start building the machines that were supposed to be in this room. Um, so the machines that I want to put in that room are induction furnaces and rotary macerators. Um, I've already crafted up one of each, one of each here. Uh, I used to cook up some glass earlier. And um, as you can see, the induction furnace cooks things very quickly. Uh, you can see that just beasting through there and cooking up everything. And the rotary macerator um, macerates stuff pretty quick. Um, as you can see, I have a lever right here. This is in order to keep the machine on. When you keep the machine on, the RPM uh, in this case, or the heat level in this case, um, builds up and will stay at a constant uh, level. At this point, the max is 7500 RPM. And um, another thing that you should notice is that this has two slots right here. This is for a, a new thing that they added in, um, in a, the Advanced Machines mod. And it's called uh, additive macerating, I believe. And um, there's like a few different recipes for that. Um, let me just uh, do these since I can't talk and do stuff at the same time. Um, but anyway, like one thing would be uh, you put in an iron ore in this spot, and then you put a piece of coal in this spot. And a, one piece of coal could be used for 64. Um, iron ores and it will result in um, what's called refined iron dust um, which you can cook up obviously into refined iron. Um, so the first thing uh, in order to make these cool machines um, you're going to need a compressor. Uh, the compressor which is right here is just stone, an electronic circuit, and a machine block. So that's easy enough. Um, but the way that you get these things you need carbon plates and advanced alloys. First you get the advanced alloys by putting the mixed metal ingots in your compressor and mixed metal ingots are crafted by using refined iron, bronze, and tin. Uh, obviously if you have different mods you could use different types of tin and different types of bronze. Um, so yeah. So on those compressed you get your advanced alloys. And also, you need, obviously, some coal dust, which is why I was macering that. And you put them in a 4x4 crafting area, and you get raw carbon fiber. And then you put uh, two next to each other, and you get raw carbon mesh. And um, when you put this in the compressor, it results in these carbon plates. So as soon as these two finish up, I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back here. As you can see, they finished. Um... So now, in order to make an, an a, uh, induction furnace, we need what is called an advanced machine. And in order to make this, we need to get out our crafting table, and we need two machine blocks. Um, so let me go ahead and make those. And then you put your machine block in the middle. You can put your carbon plates on either side. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're on the sides or on top and bottom. And then your advanced alloys. And you get your advanced machine blocks. Um, and then these along with electric furnaces and advanced machine blocks and then refined iron around that I lied it's uh, copper that you need to put around that let me go get copper um, refined iron is used for the rotary macerators so for a rotary macerator the recipe would be the same you just use uh, refined iron instead of copper so as I was saying you put the copper around the uh, outside like this uh, electric furnace in the middle and machine block uh, down at the bottom and you get your induction furnaces I only need two of those um, and then as you can see I already created two rotary macerators over here and uh, I'm just going to throw my extra crap all in here um, and then I actually want to have this rotary macerator and um, I want to move it. Um, so let me move this. Yeah, no, it's not how I want it to. I want it like facing me, but I'll deal with that later. And I crafted this uh, electric wrench, which you could charge up right here in your bat box or any other power, power storage that you have. Just crafted by making a wrench, which is like... Uh, I don't want shapeless crafting. Um, and you could use bronze. You could use either type of bronze. And um, you put it in this pattern. 
And then after you have your wrench, you use an electronic circuit and a battery, and you get the electric wrench. The cool thing about this is there is this mode where if you hold down the M key and you right click, you can see in the corner, lossless wrench mode disabled. We want it enabled. Uh, this means that when you click on a machine, it won't, uh, like you'll never lose it. Like sometimes when you click on a machine, um, you uh, like lose it and you only get like a machine block back or something. This, uh, this electric wrench here solves that problem. Of course, it does use quite a bit of power. As you can see, I don't really know how much of a charge my backpack had, but I mean, it took all that power. Um, so let me go ahead and sleep so I can recharge that bat box. No, I'll just deal with that later. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll put another ma macerator right there. Let's go and put these down. Um, alright, there's my sorting machine, so my items are going to come down here. And then probably over here, so I'm going to have my rotary macerators, um, just right, let's have them this way, I'm going to have them just three in a row, right like that, and then I'm going to place something right there, and then those things are going to get pulled out and get put into these things right here. Um, so let me go and get the things that I was going to put in front of those. And uh, obviously, if we're going to have five of these machines running, because remember, we have to have them running all the time in order for the speed to be built up. If the speed's not built up, then it's kind of pointless. Um, so as you can see, I just built myself three uh, filters. I was kind of prepared here. Pretty proud of myself. Uh, and I'll fix up this room as well. Um, and we're just going to put the filters uh, like so. I'll probably have to get my wrench and as soon as it stops lagging. Probably have to get my wrench and reorient these. But um nope, it's not gonna let me do that. That's cool. I don't know what's up with this lag. Um and yeah I'll just have to reorient this one. So let me go upstairs and get my wrench or not not my wrench but my screwdriver and I'll be right back. So I'm back here with my wrench and as you can see just gonna reorient that like so. Um but anyway obviously we're gonna have to run our tubing uh, from our sorting machine and into our macerators and if you're going to have it input somewhere then you have to have the uh, tubes up top and actually that little project is going to have to wait until next episode uh, again 15 minutes just isn't long enough um, so I have just a few things that I want to say before I wrap this episode up First off, I got my first few subscribers, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you their names. Uh, I have TT Tomato 14. Uh, uh, he has some videos about. Uh, he has a video about some BMX game. Um, but yeah, just figured I'd tell him. Um, another person that subscribed to me was uh, Maze Minecraft. He has some pretty cool videos, so if you want to go ahead and check them out, or him out, or her. And uh, I also have Extra Mailman 12, uh, which also has some pretty cool videos. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put their names in, my, uh, in the description of this video, so that you guys can go ahead and check their channels out. Um, a little thing that I'm doing with people that subscribe is anyone who subscribes to me, I'll mention you in one of my videos so that the whole like three people that watch my videos uh, can go ahead and check your channel out. So this has been Drawing at 1313 on episode 7 of my Let's Play series. Join me next time. See ya!